Hello and welcome to Curioverse, the channel where we explore the most curious and eccentric aspects of our universe. Today we are going to take you on a journey around the world to discover some of the strangest festivals that people celebrate every year. From throwing fireballs to freezing your hair, these festivals will make you wonder how and why they came to be. So sit back, relax and enjoy this video about the strangest festivals in the world. The first festival we are going to talk about is Las Bolas de Fuego, or the Fireballs Festival, in El Salvador. This festival takes place every year on August 31st in the town of Najapa, where residents divide themselves into two teams and hurl palm-sized fireballs of kerosene at each other. The festival commemorates the 1658 volcanic eruption that forced the villagers to flee their old town and settle in their current location. The fireballs are said to represent the lava that spewed from the volcano, and the participants paint their faces like skulls to honor their ancestors who survived the disaster. The festival is dangerous, but also thrilling and spectacular, as hundreds of fireballs light up the night sky. The next festival we are going to visit is the Chung Chow Bun Festival in Hong Kong. This festival is held every year in late April or early May on the island of Chung Chow, where locals celebrate the end of a plague that once ravaged their community. The highlight of the festival is the bun scrambling competition, where contestants climb up a 60-feet bamboo tower covered with buns and try to grab as many as they can. The buns are considered to bring good luck and prosperity, and are made by a special bun supplier who produces more than 60,000 buns for the event. The festival also features a colorful parade with children dressed as deities and floats made of paper flowers. The third festival we are going to explore is the Underwater Music Festival in Florida, USA. This festival is held every year in July at the Florida Keys National Marine Sanctuary, where divers and snorkelers enjoy a unique musical experience underwater. The festival was founded by Bill Becker, a radio host who wanted to raise awareness for coral preservation. The music is broadcasted by a local radio station through underwater speakers, and features songs related to the ocean, such as, Yellow Submarine, and, Under the Sea. The participants also dress up as mermaids, sharks, pirates and other marine creatures, and play instruments specially adapted for underwater use. The fourth festival we are going to check out is the Boryong Mud Festival in South Korea. This festival is held every year in July at the Boryong Mud Flats, where millions of visitors flock to enjoy the benefits of mud. The mud is rich in minerals and is said to have healing properties for skin diseases and digestion problems. The festival offers various activities involving mud, such as mud wrestling, mud sliding, mud massage, mud painting and mud fireworks. The festival also hosts concerts, performances and contests to entertain the crowd. The fifth festival we are going to witness is the Lopuri Monkey Banquet in Thailand. This festival is held every year in November at the ancient city of Lopuri, where thousands of monkeys live among the temples and ruins. The festival is a way of thanking the monkeys for attracting tourists and bringing prosperity to the city. The locals prepare a lavish feast for the monkeys, consisting of fruits, vegetables, cakes, ice cream and soda. The monkeys are free to indulge in their favorite foods and drinks, while also causing mischief and stealing from unsuspecting visitors. The sixth festival we are going to see is Up Heli A in Scotland. This festival is held every year on the last Tuesday of January in Lurwick, Shetland Islands, where locals celebrate their Viking heritage and culture. The festival involves a torch-lit procession of hundreds of men dressed as Vikings, who carry a replica of a Viking longship through the streets. The procession ends at a designated site where they burn the ship in a spectacular bonfire. The festival also features singing, dancing, drinking and partying until dawn. The seventh festival we are going to watch is the World Body Painting Festival in Austria. This festival is held every year in July or August at Klagenfurt am Wörthersee where artists from all over the world showcase their creativity and skill in transforming human bodies into living canvases. The festival has various categories of body painting, such as brush and sponge, airbrush, special effects and UV effects. The participants also compete for prizes and awards based on their originality, technique and presentation. The festival also includes music, fashion, photography and performance art. The eighth festival we are going to observe is El Calacho, or the Baby Jumping Festival, in Spain. This festival is held every year in June on the Feast of Corpus Christi in the village of Castrillo de Murcia, where babies born in the previous year are laid on mattresses in the street. The festival is a baptismal ceremony that dates back to the 17th century, 
where men dressed as devils jump over the babies to cleanse them of original sin and protect them from evil spirits. The festival is considered to be risky and controversial, but no injuries have been reported so far. The ninth festival we are going to experience is the International Hair Freezing Contest in Canada. This festival is held every year in February at the Tahini Hot Pools in Yukon, where contestants dip their heads in the hot water and then shape their hair as it freezes in the cold air. The festival was started as a fun way to attract visitors to the hot springs during winter, and has become a popular event with many creative entries. The contestants are judged based on their style, originality and frozenness of their hair. The tenth and final festival we are going to admire is the Cheese Rolling Festival in England. This festival is held every year on the last Monday of May at Cooper's Hill in Gloucestershire, where brave participants chase a rolling nine-pound wheel of cheese down a steep hill. The festival is an ancient tradition that has no clear origin, but is believed to have pagan roots. The festival is also very dangerous, as many people have been injured by falling, tumbling or being hit by the cheese. The winner of the race gets to keep the cheese as a prize. We hope you enjoyed this video about the strangest festivals in the world. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more curious and eccentric videos. Also, let us know in the comments which festival you would like to attend or avoid. Thank you for watching and see you next time on Curioverse. Thanks for watching.